Hi, my name is Josh. I'm with True Tech Tools, and today we're going to do an unboxing and overview video for the Hobo MX 1101. Uh, the 1101 is a temperature and humidity data logger that will send data through Bluetooth technology to your smart device. The app is free on the Apple Store or the Google Store. So let's get started. First thing we have here is the 1101 itself. Quick start guide, an accessory packet. In the accessories we have our batteries, straps for strapping the unit in deployment, and 3M wall slides for surfaces you don't want to damage such as paint. So open the battery covers easy, push down tab, no screws required. Once the batteries are in the logger, it is ready to go. Okay, once you get the logger set up and the batteries are installed, the next thing we want to do is deploy this logger. To do that, you're going to go ahead and open your Hobo app, which again is free on the Apple Store or the Google Store. You get your Hobo app here, and you'll notice that you have recently seen or in-range devices. To connect to the MX-1101, what you want to do is touch this line item, this actual serial number of this device. It's going to go ahead and connect to that item. Right now, the default name for this device is the serial number, and we're connected. So as we scroll down a little bit, you'll notice that we have a configuration option, which is what we're going to use to set up the logger. We're going to go ahead and select that. Now to do that, we do need to disconnect from the logger, but it knows that it's connected or configured, configuring that logger because we just connected to it. So we're going to go ahead and disconnect. The next thing we'll see is the option here to relabel the logger. We can place this logger in a group of other loggers we can tell it its physical location, or better yet, it tells us its physical location through longitude and latitude. It tells you the number of deployments. Right now, this is our first deployment. Here's where we can select our logging interval. We can go between one second all the way up to 18 hours. For this instance, we're going to go ahead and select it to log. Uh, let's go every We'll just go every hour. Click done. Now we have our logging interval set up for every hour. The logging duration based on that one hour logging interval, this unit should last or log for approximately 4.4 years. The next thing we're going to have is our start logging option. And we have four options for starting the log. We can either start it right now, we can start it by pushing a button, we can start it by a certain date or time, or we can select it on the next logging interval. Since we selected it to log every hour, it will start logging every, uh, on the next hour if we select on the next logging interval. So I'm going to go ahead and select on button push and select done. So now that we have that set up, we're going to go down here and make sure that we want temperature and humidity selected. That's what we're going to be logging. They're both on and the logging mode is normal and we're going to have the display, the LCD display, show all of our information. So now, now that we have the unit configured, we're going to go ahead and click Start. And it's now ready. We select OK. So then we're going to go ahead and go to our logger here. And we're going to go ahead and click the Start button. Push and hold. And we've deployed the MX-1101. And you can see your temperature and humidity readings there. And that's it. We've set up the AMX 1101. The 
MX1101 transmits data again through Bluetooth smart technology. Uh, the MX1101 is an indoor logger. It can be used in temperature ranges between negative 4 and 158 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, it has a range of 100 feet, uh, which is a variable range depending on any uh, interference in the environment. The uh, data logger, uh, the temperature range can be, uh, or it, its accuracy is between a half a degree. Uh, which is pretty good. The device can be deployed with logging intervals from one second to 18 hours. Um, it's very easy to deploy with four different deployment methods. Uh, you can either deploy it using the push button on the top of the logger. Uh, you can use uh, an immediate deployment in the setup process where it will deploy um, you know, as soon as you're done setting it up. Uh, you can use a, a certain date and a certain time. Uh, you can also uh, have it start logging at its next logging interval. So if you have it set the log every half an hour, you can have it log in the next half an hour increment. Uh, the logger has a life of approximately, or the battery life of approximately one year. Uh, the Hobo MX1101 has a list price of $135, and you can get more information on this device by going to truetechtools.com. Thank you.